Welcome back to another episode of Lost in the Farmer's Market, Garden Shorts. Today we're filling out the last of the four-part episode involving lemon-scented herbs. And uh, since we're in the mosquito belt, this one's going to be a bit faster than the last one. Because I can see the little bloodsuckers moving up and they're pretending to be from the local blood drive. In fact, that one's pretending to be an IRS agent. This is not good, folks. <clears throat> so, what you see before you is lemon thyme. That is, thymus citridorus. Thymus is from the Greek meaning gland, which refers to possibly the shape of the leaves and or the shape of the flowers on top of the leaves. I'm not entirely clear on that one. It is an evergreen perennial, but the variety you see before you is the pure green type, which is the most commonly available type. There are silver tinge foliage variants and a tricolor version, which ironically I'm more familiar with the tricolor than the straight green or the silver tinged. It's harder to find in these parts, but one day. Some people look up and say they're going to, one day they're going to be free of debt, and I say one day I'll have all the flavors of thyme. I, I might have a compulsion. Well, anyway, the pH range it prefers is 6.5 to 8.5. It is hardy in USDA zones 5 through 9. Its height can be 12 inches to 15 inches with a similar spread per potted plant on an average of a potted plant that is 4-ish inches. Inevitably, when you get like a 6-incher or 8-incher, it's going to be multiple plants grouped together and you'll get more spread. Like a certain oregano! <clears throat> I digress. It prefers full sun, but will take partial shade. In the south, times tend to be considered short-lived perennials. Now, that means that they live anywhere from two to five years. In partial shade, where they get winter sun, they do the best. So, in this case, you can see it's kind of in the shade. It's because it's under a dogwood. During the late spring through early fall, it's in partial shade where it gets sun in the morning and some in the afternoon, and that's it. In the winter, it's going to get full sun when everything else isn't growing. And cool weather is it's time's jam. So let's get that out of the way. So I'm taking advantage of its biology to boost it. In the summer, I'm doping it with fertilizer so it can build up that root system so it can surge when it's ready. Now, what's great about thyme is that it is tolerant of crappy soil. Not saying that you should plant your thyme crop in crappy soil. It'll just put up with it. You should give it the best soil like anything else you can. It is also deer resistant, which is pretty important in some parts of North Carolina. North Cacolac. On the nutritional front, per 100 grams of lemon thyme, the following is true. You will get 1.8 milligrams of niacin, 160.1 milligrams of vitamin C. By the way, that is 266% of your daily value. This plant is a vitamin C beast. If you got scurvy, roll around in some lemon thyme. It'll do you good. It has 609 milligrams of potassium, which is 13% of your daily value. Mmm, potassium. It's got 9 milligrams of sodium. Because, you know, it's salty. It's got vitamin A, it's got thiamine, it's got riboflavin, B6, B5, and foliates. And, on the medical end, and I've mentioned this particular herbal compound before, it's got thymol. Because it is a thyme, and that's where it was first isolated. Which is a powerful antiseptic and antifungal. And as mentioned in other plants. Thymol has the ability to restrict or limit the spread and outbreak of herpes simplex and herpes complex. Again, as I said before, I wouldn't recommend sticking your dangly bits in a puddle in a bunch of time just because you're too embarrassed to go to the clinic. I digress there. You should have lemon thyme in your garden because it's really good on baked fish like really good. It's good with chicken. I'm pretty sure it could be good with pork, but I've never tried that. Just, uh, uh, I see no point in it. I mean, that's what barbecue sauce is for. But I digress. Thyme, the creeping, evergreen, aromatic, delicious herb. Get some in your garden today. That's all I've got to say about that, folks. That also brings to a close our four-parter on lemon-flavored herbs. If you like this kind of style, where I do a four-parter on a certain subject, leave a comment and say, do it again, or 
it is garbage, whatever. I'd like to hear your comments and suggestions. Always, if you've got a, if you like this video, like, subscribe, um, hit up the blog. I am due for an update on the blog soon, and I'm saying this because I'm a week late as of this point, as of the filming of this episode. Life and COVID and nothing but. As always, folks, keep them growing. Thank you for watching.